So, of course, when uh, Spain was uh, knocked out of the World Cup uh, by Russia, it showed us that there are no big teams in this World Cup. I mean, Spain was one of the, uh, I don't know, how many former champions are now gone? Germany, Argentina, Spain. Um, and it just shows that this World Cup is really, really tough and nothing can be taken for granted. The second game yesterday, of course, also showed that the competition is really high right now because uh, even that game between Croatia and Denmark, everybody thought Croatia was going to smash Denmark. But uh, it also went into extra time, also went into penalties. And uh, it also showed that football needs a little bit of luck for you to win because it came down to uh, the penalty takers and unfortunately for Schmeichel who worked so hard for Denmark he was let down by his striking force. How about today's games? Uh, Brazil versus Mexico and uh, Belgium versus Japan? These are almost impossible to predict because on paper anyone would say Brazil would go through hands down but Mexico have not been a, a pushover at all in this World Cup and uh, Brazil has also been shaky though very shaky during the uh, uh, group stages I think these games will also go into extra time today because it's just going to be so hard and it's going to come down to penalties I think Brazil might have an edge on penalties but nothing is guaranteed at this stage um, Belgium versus Japan, also another tricky fixture, but on paper, Belgium have a much stronger side, but uh, Japan have been working extremely hard. That's what I like about their team. They give 110%, but I think they'll be out of luck tonight because Belgium, Belgium are looking really, really good. But uh, like I said, at this stage, tough to predict anything. Okay, thank you very much. Let me...